Hi, everybody. Thanks for joining us on Celebrating Act Two. And thanks for joining us, Bill Jordan. It's great to see you again. Guys, always a pleasure to be on with you. Thanks for having me. Hey, hey, Bill, you know, I, you're getting kind of up there. You just celebrated your 70th birthday. How are you doing? I want to make sure you're doing okay. A buddy of mine who's a couple of years older than I called me for my birthday. Said, just call him, wish you happy birthday. Man, you're old. <laughs> thanks for the pep talk. Thanks for the pep talk. Um, I'm doing great. I'm doing great. And, I've, you know, I've always been healthy. Uh, we had a, my wife's side of the family had a family reunion up in Virginia a couple of weekends ago. And I was looking around on the patio there among our contemporaries, everybody at our age or a little older maybe. And, and I'm just looking at them and each one and I'm looking and I'm looking, and I'm checking them out and I'm going, you know what? I told Marianne later, it's like, I was the only one, and there were a number of people on that patio. I was the only one on that patio that has not had any major health issue. Wow, good for you. Uh, I am I am blessed beyond measure. But as I was getting towards 70 this past year, while I have always felt good and considered myself in good health, um, I decided that I wanted evidence. <laughs> I wanted proof that I was doing well. Because I've always been one to go, you know, I don't need a physical, I'm fine. I don't need to go to the dermatologist. I'm okay. And but in the past few months, you know, as I've shared before with you guys, I went back in for a sleep study. I was snoring again. My wife was concerned about it. She wasn't sleeping well because I was snoring so badly. Sure. I qualified for the CPAP, got back on the CPAP machine, oh. went in my physical, got the blood work done, got extra blood work done for testosterone levels, um, ended up in the upper third of normal for both free and total testosterone, which is a good thing. Um, dermatologically, uh, went in for my skin scan and came out okay after last year having a chunk taken out of my back. Um, so the evidence is all there that I'm doing okay. Oh, and I, and I finally passed because I tried only once before, and I was supposed to like 20 years ago, I finally passed successfully my colonoscopy. <laughs> How can you I, fail? <laughs> I had prep. Oh. And I didn't yeah. read the directions. And this time I read the directions, and I did swimmingly. Oh, yeah. good. And yeah, it's pretty common. Wait, 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 wait. Gonna... But Bill, you're saying... That just because you're turned 70, you've really been in good health. Everything is great, but all of a sudden you want proof of life? <laughs> well, I don't want something to sneak up and get me at 70. Um, again, like this, uh, my, my uh, appointment with the dermatologist last year when he took a quarter-sized chunk out of the center of my back right over my spine, that kind of got my attention. Mm. That, that's, that's not you know, come back in any form based on my uh, appointment the other day. Um, I wanted to make sure my blood work was right. Everything was where it was supposed to be. I wanted to make sure my testosterone sure. was still good. Um, I'm glad that I'm sleeping better. Uh, again, just trying to take care of myself and, you know, have fun too. Uh, I'm, I'm certainly going to eat birthday cake and, uh, sure. believe me, I ha and I have. Uh, so I put on a few pounds, but I'm already working on getting that off, and I and I will. So I still have my targets of where I want to be, you know, physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, and I'm still working on those. As per my book, embracing the boom. So I embrace the boom. Yes, embrace the boom. If I'm not trying practice. to be the best version of myself, and that's what I'm trying to do. Well, Bill, we, you know, we are all as a society living longer and generally are healthier than our, certainly than our parents and our grandparents. And I'm sure our kids are going to live longer than us, you know, mm -hmm. and it's all about, it, it's not about the fact that you might have uh, skin cancer or, you know, it's about finding it. It's about dealing with it. It's about staying on top of an aging body, I guess. Uh, right. So right. you're doing the right thing, even though you didn't do it up until, age 70 now that you're 70 you got smart yeah mm -hmm. i mean i was fortunate i was very very fortunate and uh, very blessed good genetics and all that stuff so uh, that would just encourage people take care of yourself i get the whole thing about hey i've earned where i am in life i'm going to eat the cake and i want to 
if I want to sit and watch Netflix 24 hours a day, that's what I'm going to do. But, you know, I think it's a lot about, and we've talked about it, it's quality of life. It's not necessarily how long we live, it's how well we live. Right. And also, right. Uh, I, I, with your philosophy, if you want to have your cake and eat it too, uh, now, unlike with our parents and grandparents, when we get the problems that they got and passed on from, there are a lot of things that people can take care of. And I mean, things that, you know, skin cancer, all the time they're clipping and they're, they're burning off or they're giving a shot and taking care of stuff that used to be a death sentence now is, oh, this is manageable, it's chronic, and uh, yeah. just have it checked off and up and we keep in front of it. So yeah. what you're doing is stuff that uh, we're a little bit older than you and we've been doing for years. Uh, for instance, I see a dermatologist every four months because I had a, a serious uh, skin cancer. But now they every couple of months they clip stuff off and uh, life is good. So they catch yeah. it in advance. So uh, congratulations. I want, I want to congratulate you for now being a grown up and oh, taking care of yourself. And I want to celebrate you by how well you have embraced the boom years. I have done so, thank you. And I hope you will join me in doing so as you watch this, live your life, forget your age, and embrace the boom. Thanks guys. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends, Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life.